we've got Mike Evans, right? This is a player who has been in the league eight years. He's finished as a wide receiver one, four times, a wide receiver two, four times, and his startup ADP in Dynasty is wide receiver 21, so barely a wide receiver two. And his underdog ADP is wide receiver eight. So he is going considerably higher in redraft. He will be turning 29 during the season this year. Um, you know, Mike Evans is a player I've done. I've looked a lot into over the years. He's a player that I'm always, you know, kind of picking up where I can. He's just as consistent as you like. He can get you there, whether it's through touchdowns, whether it's through a ton of receptions. You know, he's, he's so well-rounded that he can get you there, you know, kind of kind of multiple avenues um you know wide receiver 21 that has gone up a little bit since we know brady has come back but early in the offseason he was going six seventh round in startups consistently and picking up picking up a wide receiver who can give me multiple wide receiver two and potentially another wide receiver one season at that price is at least for me really hard to pass on so in the, the couple of startups i had this offseason i did pick up a couple more mike evans i pulled twitter early in the offseason and asked how many wide receiver two or better seasons will Mike Evans have left in his career? I said, you know, one to two, three or more, you know, four or more, zero. And 63% of the votes said that he was going to have, you know, three top 24 wide receivers left in his career, which I don't understand how you can be drafting him as a, you know, a high end wide receiver three or a low end wide receiver two. If you believe he's going to give you three more years as a wide receiver one or wide receiver two, um, it's a lot there, but what, what are your thoughts on Mike Evans, Tim? You said it perfectly with the last bit. Even if you think he's getting one to two wide receiver, uh, top wide receiver years, um, that's worth it in that sixth, seventh round or a little bit earlier. His lowest finish is wide receiver 22 in his career. He's wide receiver 21 ranked right now. That's insane. Like, it's value. I understand there were some scary parts where there, there were games he wasn't earning as many targets, but if you look at the overall totality of the numbers, he's producing – on a consistent basis, as consistent as we've ever seen in in fantasy football ever, which is from year to year comparison. Maybe not the top, but we're looking at a very um Do you know how many games? Receiver. Do you know what his bust rate last year was as far as bust rate as in not finishing within the top 36 wide receivers? I do not know. If you had to take a guess, it was 21 percent, which is low. seven which is seventh in the NFL, yeah, seventh that's super best low. in the NFL. Yeah. It's incredible. You do, it doesn't get more consistent than that. And it really was not that far off from where, what he did even two years ago. So this is just this is just the kind of player Mike Evans is. I feel like he has this reputation as a more uh, boom-bust type wide receiver and depends on your definition of boom-bust because his floor is very safe. And a lot of people are really um, they're really confident in their boom-bust wide receivers that are the speed wide receivers that are – more likely to bust where they're just like um, able to kind of stomach that risk. But why wouldn't you want to do it with a wide receiver? That's way more consistent, but like something else I was, I was looking at when we, were, when we were doing this exercise is that I'm noticing there, obviously the, the, the interest is to build through young wide receivers right now, as we're kind of churning through this year 20 or 26 year old uh, running back group. But, there are a lot of wide receivers that kind of fall later that can easily make a lineup. Um, just kind of throwing some out there. I know that they're not exactly the same as to what we're, we're talking about today as an exercise, but like Thielen, Lockett, Evans, all guys you can get much later that can be your wide receiver three, four, five, or two, three, four on a team. And you're probably not missing a step, which means you can probably take some risks on those older running backs to really build a, a contender in the first year. Yeah, no, Adam Thielen is, is a name that just gets thrown back in here. You know, we, we, we were looking right before we got started. Adam Thielen's wide receiver 56 in Dynasty startup prices, and he's wide receiver 37 in redraft, and both might be too low. I do understand where a little bit of the uh, reservations come from with Thielen in, in Dynasty, just given his age. Um you know, the competition he has there in Minnesota. But but Adam Thielen has been a top 12 wide receiver in points per game, taking out games where he left injured in, you know, the last like three seasons. You know, he even last year was wide receiver 11 in points per game, you know, in our adjusted points per game chart we have here where we, we remove uh, snaps where they played less than 20% of the snaps. Wide receiver 11, but he missed your fantasy playoffs. It's like this is just what you get with Adam Thielen. When he's in my lineup and he's playing, I feel good about it because you're getting a guy at wide receiver 50, but 
he's, you know, he's giving you wide receiver one or two weeks every week. But then I really do worry about it's just it seems year over year with Adam Thielen where he misses really important stretches of the season. And that's fair. But like we could do the same exercise with Evans about how many good years we think he has left. And if it's one or two, true. he's definitely worth the price you have to pay to get him. Yeah. I just saw Adam Thielen in a startup. I had my last startup of the offseason. Or sorry, not startup. I had my last rookie draft of the offseason. Uh finish up yesterday actually and in the second round the 211 was moved for adam thielen and that's what you're talking about and i think you know you mentioned i think tyler lockett he goes kind of the same price like if you're especially on the clock in the, these drafts where people are looking at you know let's say a john mechie falls or want their big wandell guys you know they're going to be sitting there and they'll they'll probably be eager to move a guy like tyler lockett or adam thielen for one of those players so if you're a win now team maybe a deeper league and you're just looking to sure up you know, one of your third, fourth flex spots that you can get Adam Thielen or Tyler Lockett for next to nothing. Um, you know, I'm in on that. You know, your shower leagues, I'm definitely a little more wary of, the, of them just because I do think their best days are are behind them, a, a, a little more so than a guy like Mike Evans. Yeah, they might be more supplemental flexes to your lineup, but they're, to me, they're pretty top tier when it comes to that that specific range of player to put on your on your roster. <laughs> 